Hey everyone, how are all of you doing? Today we will be playing Autos Adventure Remastered. This one is on Apple Arcade as a remastered version. So it's going to have a lot more content. And it says the spirit of the mountains. I can't wait to play this game. I don't know what to expect. Your llamas are escaping down the mountain, grab the snowball and chase after them. Okay, I got them, I got them. Catch your llamas to keep them safe. Alright. So we need more llamas. And actually, I have played Autos Adventure before, but just the regular version. I remember it used to be a free it used to be a free game but they they made it payable they made it that you have to pay nine around nine Right, this is where the chasm is here. Nice. Hold up, I thought... I thought you can smash the rock. Oh yeah, but I still ended up jumping. Nice. Oh, that one, that one was where I missed all of them, all the coins. Oh my god, what happened? What happened there? Anyway, I wonder what is the difference between the regular version and the remastered version? Wow, so far I remember this game really gives me nostalgic memories. Autos Adventure is the kind of game that has been on the store for a very long time and the art just looks wonderful because it's very minimalistic and simplistic Wow, this one gives me um, a magnet Wow, what is that? There's a diamond lotus shaped one which I don't really know what that is. Nice, so far we're doing alright. Of course we can get more coins. Oh man, oh wow. I guess I'm just trying to be careful and okay that one was really bad 
So the goal is to travel 5,000 meters in total. Let's kind of try that. But guys, comment down if you actually see a difference between this Autos Adventure Remastered and the regular version. Oh, you actually have to do a, a backflip. Oh my god. I did, I did a backflip man, I did man Oh my god Oh yeah, the color does look different This one looks more blue and um, white Wow, and actually I see lanterns and snowy village So I guess this is what it means by remastered Do you see those lanterns? Do those do not exist Lanterns that are flying and snowy village with red rooftops on houses Like a candy house, those don't exist in normal Arto's adventure So this one is kind of beautiful we even have some some uh, birds effects wow nice we are doing a really nice backflip right here Oh my god Anyway, it seems like we got a bit of green here We got a little bit of green Oh, now we got snowboard at night and spook 15 birds in one run Those are some new challenges Interesting and okay What do we have here? Looks like these are some things that we can buy A wingsuit Wow Now that is real interesting But I wonder if I can actually get Get to hit the 10,000 meters or something like that Wow, what is this blue color thing? I don't know what this blue color leaf is But the effect is really nice on the character which is me 
Looks like I, I was floating a little. That that's really nice. Oh, there are consecutive rocks. That one. I did not know Wait, what is this? What is this um, thing that was chasing me? I don't know what that was but that scared me a little Anyway now so far looking at this game it seems to not be very different from the regular Altos adventure but it does seem to be a bit of an improvement or a bit of an add-on so we kind of do get something a little bit different if we were getting this but regular Regular gamers will understand but those who just Don't really play the Autos Adventure that much they probably won't see a difference Alright got my backflip although we didn't get any of those coins right there Oh, now we are doing something which is snowboarding at night That's what they call it Wow, I, I didn't know when was the time that I should do it I did not know Because I couldn't see how far there was Whether there was enough time so that was a big oopsie Now we are snowboarding at night and I can say wow I have never seen two consecutive gaps before Anyway the effect looks really nice we get some uh, snow drops some some snow effect wow and trees now I have never seen this I have never seen this in out oh my god yo what is that that was um Miraculous safe I do not know what's going on right there What happened back there Oh no, this is where we get we, we have to encounter something chasing us. Not nice. Uh Respect your elders. What is that? What is going on? I don't know why that thing chased us, but it kind of reminds me of subway surfers. Oh darn Darn man that one was um that one was the chief police right there Wow it looks like we also have a snow windmill
Oh, I actually see a rainbow in the distance Although it isn't too obvious Oh, a rock bounce, nice A uh, rock bounce rarely happen anyway so I was like not expecting a rock bounce and a rock smash now Oh wow, that is a very interesting mechanism Basically a very very big chasm that's only possible by climbing on the rope really close we don't want to get um we don't want to sort of get caught up or get caught by this elder apparently this the elder so apparently the best distance is 5000 I really hope I can get 10,000 this time, although it's not easy. Oh, well, better luck next time. Better luck next time. They just said that right there. Oh, uh, yeah, fail. Epic fail. I couldn't get 10,000, which is my goal. I could not. Oh, my God. How are we going to get 10,000 points here? Do we have enough coins? Right, we get to upgrade to increase the duration. And we, the one that I'm really interested in is um, the wingsuit. Right there, the wingsuit is why I do not, I do not really know what's gonna happen with the wingsuit, but that's the one I'm interested in. So now we have to find ourselves a hover feather, which is the blue color thing that allowed us to float previously. Wow, what was that? Oh, never mind. Those lanterns do look nice though. I wonder if there's an actual story behind Auto's adventure. Wow, the flags that drop when I grind on the rail, that, that one's really interesting. And well, satisfying. OMG. Wow, finally we got the Hover Feather. Wait, what? Bruh, that ain't fair. That ain't not even a bit fair. Anyway, I wanted to say just now, I was really, really scared of doing a backflip. Um, when having those rope mechanism at, at the chasm when there's a big chasm that's like a rope mechanism where you have to jump on it to cross 
I was scared to do a backflip there because PTSD post traumatic uh, I was scared because that was the place I failed so yeah oh now we have an even different even better color look looking color um we have midnight blue this looks like midnight blue Wow, we actually got all of them and nice, we get some rock bounce as well. Why are the llamas escaping though? It would be cool if we have some storyline with this game as well. Because storyline is really what gives it a um, kind of a hook effect where you'll be coming back for more. Another rock bounce. Wow, that that orange color where the clouds are at the back, that one's really nice. Also, we really can't forget about the music. The music is just a um, really classic strings music. Okay, I'm assuming this is the forest area now and while wow, we gotta face this Grim Reaper again aka the Elders Oh my god, what is this? It really looks like a Grim Reaper when he's holding that pole Cause that pole really do be looking like a synth I have not collected a wooden artifact, I do not know what that does. Oh wow, getting distracted causes this. Anyway, we have done quite a bit of this game. I kind of get the main idea here for this game and looking now, I think it's the end of this video. So. It'll be it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button and like this video. And comment down below if you have any other game recommendations. Or if you want me to play Autos Odyssey. Which is the successor to Autos Adventure. Anyway with that I'll see you again guys. Peace out.